So, Samson, so you finally get ready to make that move and see your baby. Now this spiritual love is now going to be connected to the physical. Full circle, 360 degrees. Once you see your baby, it will be complete. How do you feel about that, my brother? To be honest with you, I feel so overwhelmed, excited, more like butterflies is floating on in my stomach. My mind is spinning because um, this is a long trip over the water. And to be honest, I ain't never been that far out the country. I've been all different states, but out the country, now I always wanted to go, you know, around the world. And I'm finally going to somewhere. I'm gonna be content, happy, spiritually, mentally, physically, and the plans and goals and dreams that we have talked about is finally going to happen, you know, making a family. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a big thing, but guess what? I ain't the only person that ever did it. Let's keep it real. There's millions of people that did this for centuries. So this don't act like I'm, I'm doing something different. First time, right, yeah. I'm not. But for me, it's the first time, and it's exciting. It's overwhelming. Yeah, I wrote a book about it, man. Mm. Far Away Love. I wrote a book Whoa. about and guess what? This love story, <laughs> it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't all sweet and loving. You understand? Our, our emotions and our feelings and love for each other was strong mm -hmm. and powerful. But at the end of the day, it was a lot of drama. Mm -hmm. A lot of this and a lot of that, man. Like I said in the past video, we talking about rape, murder, suicide, all that BS was going on. And I'm writing this every day, dealing with this woman, my queen. Let me keep it real. That woman, my queen. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is really cutting me up. Mm -hmm. Don't pay that in mind. We focus. Just focus. Because everything around us is around us. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping it real. I'm, I'm serious about this. These videos I make, I'm serious. I can laugh and joke all day. And I can do that now because I feel good all day. Right, when right. I find out for the last time, because tomorrow is my trip. Mm. If people want to know. No, <laughs> uh, May the 18th. I just had long a birth. Time coming, huh? I, long time coming. Mm -hmm. And I just had a birthday. And I told her when I get there, it's going to be my birthday gift. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my birthday gift. My queen in the Philippines, you understand? See, suckers and buzzers like that, that's the devil always coming around and bad niggas coming back again. For, for what? For what? Man, please get out of my face, man. I'm trying to make a video mm -hmm. to my queen. It's for you, baby. Do you understand? Can you see me? Look at me. This is for you. And let me let me ask you another question. And for, you saw the situation that just happened. Yeah. Uh, and, yes, of and, course and, I And did. people out there in YouTube land and Twitter land and social media land, wherever you at, this is the video to connect to the last video that we just made. Mm. Because it's been a long time coming for Mr. Sampson. Yes, and like he said, he wrote a book about it. It was that real. That's how real it was. Mm -hmm. So for all the people, Sampson, for all the people, all the nay naysayers who didn't believe that you was going to finally make this trip to the Philippines, which, which is like 8,000 and something miles away, what do you got to say to those people? What I got to say? Well, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be as nice as I can. This is what I got to say to these people that was, um, in so many words, doubting me, so many words questioning me about this trip. I mean, these, my so-called people, mm. my friends and buddies, <laughs> were saying, "Well, uh, you know, you know what you're doing. Do you know her? Da -da 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 -da. You know what? I mean, strangers, doctors and nurses. You know, when I told them I'm going to the Philippines, you know, I got to do this and do that." Mm -hmm. It said, how long you know? You ever met her? You know, asked me a thousand goddamn questions. <laughs> and, you know, some questions was like, got me like, mm? I said, yeah, I know her in the spirit. They look at me like I was crazy. Mm -hmm. I said, that's all you got to know. I know her in the spirit. Because mm -hmm. I know this woman for five damn years. Mm -hmm. This is the only thing we just ain't touched each other. You know what I mean? How many pen pals, when this shit... Way before um, the social media, pen pal, how people talk, communicate, mm -hmm. and met one another. Mm -hmm. People been meeting each other 
long distance for many years and many moons. You understand? Because mm -hmm. the bottom line is, how I, what I want to say to, to you people out there, YouTube world, in the world, boys and girls, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> how you like me now? I'm on my way, baby. Huh? You want to be in my shoes? <laughs> i tell you what. Go find you up someone, you know, far away. For real. See, I'm an author. And when I met this woman, it was about me promoting and selling my book. So she seen my profile and we talked about this, that, and the dirt, and we got involved. Things got real serious. Yes, I thought this was crazy, but it got serious. And for all you haters and our sayers <laughs> or players, I play to win because it was not going to be over to it. I say it's over. That's right. But in the end, I play to win. And I knew I was going to win one day. It was just a matter of time. She didn't give up, and I didn't give up. Don't get it twisted. She could hold her own. Just because she lived in the Philippines, she's a queen for real. But she's my queen. She's and did you know <laughs> that a whole lot of people in her, on her side of town was talking about me? Because, one, I'm a black beautiful man, the agent added, black, black man, man, the guard, so they told my guard, but said I told her, I'm going to show and prove who I am, when I show up, I'm going to shut it down, That's right. I see all them fools coming around talking this and talking that, well guess what, I'm walking it, because they were talking about, oh he ain't coming, they was hoping I wasn't coming, he ain't coming, he's just talking that talk, he ain't, they don't you know, put them doubts in her head, you know how people are, That's people right. always downtown put them doubts, they <laughs> downtown, and they was doing it, no, they were serious, they wanted it to happen. They didn't want me to come, brother, because they was after my queen. I'm going to keep it real. Let me cut you off, too. Yes, this sir. Is, this, is, this is the last question that I'm going to ask you. This is the last question. Now that you finally going to the Philippines, my queen and all the people, all the people who have been, who've been reading your book mm -hmm. are praying for everything to go right. Once you get off that plane, and you see on that ground, that ground becomes holy. Once you get off that plane and you see your queen, like I said earlier, that spiritual connection becomes a physical connection yes, and they sir. unite. Yes, sir. You can't beat them. That's truth. Mm. That's truth. And God is going to show and prove through you Ooh. and her. Ooh. That this love, yeah, this faraway love, that, yeah. was meant to be. Come on now, and, and, and that's and a fact. I, and I'm oh, praying, God, I'm man. praying for you because you're my brother, man. And I got mad hey, love for you. Same here, brother. And thank for you. All oh, praise to the Most High. He put you in my life. I never forget. Excuse me. Five years ago, mm -hmm. when I did meet my queen, you were talking about doing a video about this. Yeah. Remember, I introduced you to her mm -hmm. in the coffee. We was at some coffee shop restaurant, and she asked me. I said, remember, you met him? I said, think, baby, think, baby. He says, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you ain't meet too many people. You met a couple people for me. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> something like that, right? But anyway, and we're here talking about it. Mm -hmm. about it. We're talking about it. Yes. And now when we're talking about it, we're making it happen. That's right. Come on. It was back and forth. She was, was, came here. It was a whole lot of this, that going on on her end. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, a whole lot of shit. She had to get a uh, Norman divorce, all that. Cause mine, they were separated, her and her, her husband was separated, but the bottom line, she had to get them people, because she in the Philippines, the man got more rights than the woman. Mm. Meaning, a woman can't just divorce a man unless he agreed. Wow, wow. He wasn't let go, yes, deep. deep. And I read them laws, I didn't know what she told me. Mm -hmm. She told me, but I did my research. Man. I ain't gonna let nobody tell me anything, man, you're mm -hmm. crazy. You know what I'm saying, that's why I know this woman, because. She was so real. Mm -hmm. I never forget. She said, she said, Daddy. Oh, she said, Daddy. I told you everything about me, but you didn't tell me anything about you. I said, why you say that, girl? Because I know you didn't. I said, well, I'm a girl. Well, listen, you're going to find out the real me when I show up. Where do you want to know? Then you just go for it. <laughs> That's right. Because you know what, girl? What makes this love so special? We're trying to get to know each other more. And I like to how you reveal everything to me. I'm revealing. I'm revealing. But right now, I'm concerned about one thing. Have you in my world. Simple as that, baby girl. Love you. Listen, that's the exclusive. You have my man.
Mr. Sanford. And we wish him a positive and powerful journey to the Philippines. A long time coming. And my brother, and you're going to be all right. You and your baby. You and your queen. Amen. Amen. Thank you.